But did you know global warming might also kill humans? <laughs> Which saddens me because some of the people I know are human. <laughs> Last week, New York Magazine published a truly terrifying story about all the ways the Earth is going to shake us off for good. Hundreds of drowned cities, possibly hundreds of millions of climate refugees, and now we're talking about that as a kind of best-case scenario. Actually, the best-case scenario is all those things happen and he cuts off his man bun. <laughs> the current administration is doing its best to hasten humanity's end. But once upon a time, Republicans actually believed in climate change. John McCain campaigned on it. And even Nancy Pelosi and Newt Gingrich reached across the aisle. We don't always see eye to eye, do we, Newt? No, but we do agree our country must take action to address climate change. Awkward. <laughs> Even the bedbugs on the couch were like, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> in 2009, business leaders published a full-page ad in the New York Times urging Barack Obama to take action on climate change. A letter signed by none other than Donald J. Trump. You know, this guy. So Obama's talking about all of this with the global warming and that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, OK? It's a hoax. This doesn't surprise me. Trump signs tons of letters he doesn't really mean, like every year on Tiffany's birthday. <laughs> it used to be that both sides agreed, yes, we're f***ed. So when did believing in science become a liberal thing? Like it started in 1997, when the US joined 36 other countries in a pledge to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Not everyone loved the idea, though. There were a lot of corporations, including oil companies, that objected to the Kyoto Accords in 1997, but most of them lobbied against the treaty on economic and fairness grounds. But Exxon did something that I, I think was fairly radical, which was that they chose to go after the science. Attack the science? That's the same thing the tobacco companies used to do to convince people that smoking was actually healthy or made you look sexy. Why can't the pro-science people use the same tactics? Like, well, what we need is, like, a Marlboro man for climate change. <laughs> ah, hybrids. <laughs> Ladies love it when I plug it in. <laughs> now, much of climate denial propaganda is funded by the Koch brothers, the politically active billionaire oil tycoons from Kansas. And that's enough for me to know that they're monsters. <laughs> Who the f*** has a billion dollars and stays in Kansas? <laughs> the Cokes have given millions of dollars to Republicans on the condition that they sign a pledge promising to oppose climate change legislation. And some politicians like money, so it's a tough call. Like, you know, protect our future or have some sick flames on the side of the campaign bus. <laughs> And, of course, the easiest targets for the Cokes were the evangelicals. Wait, 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 wait. You, you'll pay me not to believe in science? <laughs> You're in luck. I already don't. <laughs> so this is a win-win. For Michigan Congressman Tim Wahlberg, not believing in common sense is just common sense. As a Christian, I believe that there is a creator of God who is much bigger than us. Amen. And I'm confident that if, uh, there's a real problem. Oh, yes, the uh, classic God will take care of it defence. Hey, God, <laughs> can you turn down the heaven thermometer so we can all live forever? That would be really cool of you. <laughs> oh, 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 and while you're at it, could you stop kids from getting cancer? Could you maybe stop those tsunamis from killing thousands of people? And, of course, could you stop Mexicans from raping? <laughs> but before you get all to that, it's a bit hot down here. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 one more thing. Bring back dinosaurs. I want to ride one like Jesus did. <laughs> now, if any of those things do happen, I'll admit, maybe God can take care of climate change. But just assuming he doesn't, we're going to have to help ourselves. So let's explore all of our options with a little game I call... Here are your options. <laughs> Yeah. You like that? I was there, now I'm over here. <laughs> All right. 
So here are your options. There's this guy. Now, this guy doesn't believe in climate change, right? He drives a big-ass car, right? He has seven kids. He loves coal. And he pisses on solar panels for fun. <laughs> now, if this guy's right, he's got no problem. He can live forever doing all of this dickish stuff. No worries, right? But if he's wrong and there is climate change, the water levels are going to rise above his head and he'll be dead. And probably his kids will cry. <laughs> right? But here's the other option. You could be this guy. This person believes in climate change. So he drives a reasonably sized car, right, has one kid, and he uses solar panels in a respectable fashion. <laughs> now, if he's right and there is climate change and everyone gets on board with him, we all get to live. But if he's wrong and he does all these things and everyone gets on board, guess what? We still all get to live, right? So, these are your options. Do something and live, or do nothing and maybe not live. So, try to be mindful of the weather.